Very good, very good. A very productive, a lot of work in, and going to be back working and doing some football stuff. Coach mentioned, I think, that maybe you put on a little weight. Kind of what was that process like this offseason? Was that a focus? Yeah, I don't know if it was a focus so much as I feel like, you know, the other thing that happened to me last season, I was maybe a little light. Um, you know, not my strongest last year, and it's hard enough to, to keep weight on a normal season, let alone losing 20 pounds with the surgery. So, um, you know, it wasn't anything planned. I just was training and eating and trying to do my best, and I feel like I feel pretty strong and I feel pretty lean. You know, definitely heavier, but feeling good and feeling strong. Peter, what has it been like early on with Bill Callahan and maybe how he's different in terms of his teaching? Yeah, I mean, he's been intense. You know, he'll get on us and – um, you know, we grind out there, as you guys saw today. Um, but I've enjoyed it. But, you know, there's definitely an intensity to it. Um, there's definitely a way things, a way he wants things done. Um, so everyone's kind of adjusting to that, learning to that. But I think guys are really picking up on it. And, you know, his results speak for themselves. So I think we're all kind of bought in on it, too. What was the offseason like? You know, there's a coaching change, and obviously, you know, kind of probably didn't like that. But when you learn, you're getting Bill Kelly. And yeah, I mean, definitely – Definitely exciting. Like I said, no, no one who is. Um, you know, obviously, obviously, a lot of changes, and obviously, no saying them for me. But obviously, really cool to have someone uh, who's been around the league for a while and has coached a lot of great offensive linemen. So, was excited about that. Um, definitely was forewarned by a few guys that I trained with about him, um, but in a good way. So that was so that was exciting. And then now we're here working and grinding, and you know, it's been good. Uh, just some other guys that play with around the, uh, that I train with around the league in the off season um, that I have him, but. Not in a bad way or anything, just that we're going to work and we have. So, yeah, they're, they're tough. Um, everyone's getting the hang of it. Everyone's been humbled by it. I definitely got to get better at it. Um, there was a little conspiracy about that one was maybe slightly off compared to the other when we split up in line. So, um, there's always a debate every day about which sled is which sled is off on that day. Um, but yeah, it's tough. You know, it really demands technique um, and if you do one little thing wrong it shows um, so it's a grind every single day you know there, there's no really going through the motions with that so I really appreciate it and we'll I gotta keep getting better at it but it's tough and then that five man split um, what, like, what does that work on I, I'm not sure like we, five man the, where, there's five the shiver is, is, that, is it the shiver I, I don't know what it's called one of the five bags five oh um, that's more of a, a pass pro punching drill um, the first day we worked on that was pretty gassing. Uh, it was tough, uh, but definitely working on just your feet and your and your hands, uh, and the quickness of your feet and the relation to your time of your hands. That's that's been tough too. Um, but we use everything. I mean, we have a lot of stuff out there, but those are those are definitely two of the harder ones. Identifying things, seeing things a little faster, um, making the right calls to get the uh, pressures picked up, things like that. Talking to some of the other players, they talk about there's a different vibe uh, from before. Obviously, you're new to this organization, but how has it been from your perspective? Um, I mean, I feel like we got a, a great group of guys. I feel like everybody in the group um, works. You know, that's one thing I noticed since I've got here since day one. Um, a lot of the guys here, you know, they work hard. You know, they push themselves in workouts and training. So, you know, it's only going to be better from, from here. What are some of the first things you did after getting back to Tennessee? Um, first thing that I did, I really, man, I've been, I've been pretty boring. I didn't pretty much did it all. You know, it's, I'm born and raised in <laughs> Memphis, Tennessee. Went to the University of Memphis, so. Did I cicadas? Mm-hmm, a lot of those. <laughs> did, uh, How would you describe, I was just going to ask, did the Dallas barbecue ever live up to Memphis, or is it Memphis? Um, right? the Dallas barbecue was good, but it was, it's not touching Memphis. <laughs> no. How would you describe you and Tajay as a, as a unit, as a running back group? Personalities and on the field. Um, personality is almost night and day. I'm more of the chill, laid back guy. Tajay is the, the loud, outspoken one. Um, on the field, we got a lot of similarities. Um, it's going to be a, a nice one-two punch. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, uh, that's what it's all about. You know, football is the ultimate team sport. It's not about one player, not about one guy. It's about, you know, everyone doing their 111 and they all coming together. And, um, you know, obviously we have tremendous players like Jeff and Sweat. And even, the you know, the tremendous players we have in the back end with Hooker and, and so many guys I'm not naming right now. But, you know, um, it definitely helps. What's your impression of Brock and just what he brings to that room in terms of a coach? And he's been uh, around yeah. for a minute. No, I, I, I love Rock. You know, um, uh, really, really, actually a really big reason why, why – uh, you know, I came here, and uh, you know his track record speaks for himself. 
amazing human being first and foremost and also an amazing coach and he's coached some some dogs so I'm uh, I'm really excited to be to be with a great coach what kind of helps your your versatility on the line and how much of an asset is, is that to be able to move around a little bit I don't know honestly that's more of a coach's question you know again I'm just here to do whatever they ask of me that's it I see a lot of guys talking to each other out here do the coaches encourage you to coach each other or um I mean I, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you, just, you know, I, I think it's a point of, you know, team camaraderie, you know, just just um, whether it's me, you know, trying to pour in some younger guys, you know, just some things I know and I've learned throughout the years and vice versa. I think that's kind of just the whole uh, ending of the team, you know, everyone's just really pouring into one another. And um, again, you know, we have all the talent in the world, but you could also see that everyone here is really, really coming together and everyone's really gelling. Yeah, Brian, you know, he's, he's an offensive mind as the head coach, so he's going to lean heavily on Denard to, to run things on defense. Uh, how does that work for you guys? I mean, knowing that, that Denard's running this thing, I guess. Oh, I mean, Denard's an amazing coach. I mean, his track record's amazing as well. Um, he's coached some fantastic players, and um, uh, I'm really excited. You know, I love his intensity. I love his mindset, and um, I'm excited. I'm really excited. This league is so much built on the past these days. Mm -hmm. This big acquisition here where we're about defending on the back end, but up front, that's still where it all starts, isn't it? No, 100%. Uh, it always starts up for offense and defense, uh, 100%, and um, I think that's honestly more than half the battle, you know. If you if you have a strong O line and D line, you know, you'll win you'll win more I think more than half of the games. So to piggyback off of that, do you feel like this this group up front can can set the tone for that back end group to do their jobs? Uh, I don't I don't want to talk about any predictions. I just know that we have a great group of guys that are working each and every day, but and that's all I gotta say about that. What do you want to do to, as far as establishing yourself on the new team when you first got here? What do you kinda wanna be known for and how do you kinda think that's gone so far? Um honestly I just I don't know, I never to be honest, I never really thought about that. I just the way my mindset was is, you know, um, to come here and just try to help it any way possible and uh, just do my job at a high level, whatever it is that they're asking me to do here. And that's all I'm really focused on, just taking it one day at a time, trying to get better each and every day and mentor some young guys if they need it, you know, if they want, if they need it, if they want it. So. Speaking, speaking of that, I was going to ask you about DeVondre Sweat. Have you, have you talked to him a little bit? Yeah. Show him the ropes, that kind of thing. Has he come to you with any questions? Um, yeah, he's coming with questions. I mean, Casey, I mean, we have, we have a great group of guys, uh, Q, uh, Sweat, um, Casey, um, Marlon, you know, you know, they're all great guys, and they've all been working their tail off. And, you know, there's a lot of cohesion happening right now in that room. And Coach Rock, again, is a phenomenal leader um, in that room. And uh, we're taking it one day at a time. Um, that's all we can do, you know, and just continue to grind and get better. And that's all we're going to do, you know. I think we first got here, God. about whether it was Sebastian no. Joseph or Sebastian Joseph Day. Yeah, Sebastian Joseph Day. Yeah. Yeah. What's one thing that you want people to know just about this collective defensive line group? Um, that we're a hard-working, tough uh, group. And, you know, we work hard and we get after it. And I'm excited to be here.